In this video, we will discuss what is application scope, what is global scope, and an overview of ServiceNow Studio. Now let's get started. Application scope is used to manage access to the applications and IT related files and tables to make it more secure. And to make sure that it doesn't conflict with any other applications or with the applications that are in global scope. So, the application scope actually helps us by creating an independent applications that can be distributed from one instance or from one customer to another customers using the application repository. Application scope also determines which parts of an application that are available to other applications. So, let's say there is an application for the meeting rooms and we want to make that module or some other feature available to other applications. Then we can also define those using the application scope. This feature also allows the developers to configure parts of the applications which can be acted upon by other applications. It means that if there are any components, which we want to update from other applications, or any applications from global scope, that we can also configure. Scope prevents work done in the main ServiceNow browser window from becoming part of an application file. And there is a unique namespace or a nomenclature which is being followed or provided by ServiceNow to each applications. This consists of company prefix and application ID. Here you can see the namespace has a unique nomenclature. All names begin with the letter X, followed by the company prefix and the application ID. Let's say there is an application prepared by Suskuru to document the technical certifications, then the namespace would be X plus Suskuru, and then the application ID which could be tech certs. The scope value can be up to 30 characters long, and it can only contain lowercase, alphanumeric, ACSAI characters and underscores. Let us now look at global scope. The global scope doesn't provide any boundaries when compared to the application scope. This means that any component created in, say, a global application A, can be moved or used in another global application created in the same scope. So, all these global applications do not enforce a unique namespace identifier for an application name. Like we saw that in the application scope. And since all these global applications are in the same scope, they bypass the scope production. Once we create a globally scoped application in the ServiceNow Studio, we can add, remove, or move applications between different global applications. Let's move on and understand how to access the application resources. Application access fields determine whether a table is accessible to the other applications during design time or runtime operations. A table created in a custom application can be configured for accessibility. In this example, we have created a table called Mobile Data in the custom application Mobile Information Tracking. Application access setting is set at table level. It allows developers to grant read, create, update, and delete privileges. This means that as an author of my application, once these values are set to true, it grants access to all application scope to perform database operations. And when accessible from attribute is this application only, the table cannot be accessed by other applications. Here on this screenshot, you can see, if accessible from is set to all application scopes. Means that the table can be accessed by all other applications. The feature field option allow access to this table via web access service. Grants the user to make web service request to the tables or not. The web service access request will return the records only when this option is set to true. And the user performing the query have the required permission to access the table. Another attribute on this form is allow configuration. So, this option allows out-of-the-box application to create business rule, client scripts, and UI actions. Now let's understand how to deploy an application. An application can be published to application repository, ServiceNow store, and update sets. Entitlement refers to the permission given to an instance to install a scope application from the application repository. Navigate to the system application and then to the module for my company application module. The development tab will be visible on this page. Depending on your requirement, you can publish the application to my application repository, the ServiceNow store, 
or the update sets from this tab. Now let's move on to the next topic, an overview of the ServiceNow Studio. ServiceNow Mobile App Studio is the platform's integrated development environment and is a preferred interface for building and modifying applications. So, let's navigate to the studio and take a quick tour of the studio interface to see its features. We must choose one of these three options to gain access to the application studio. We can create a new applications by clicking on this button. Else, we can either import one from source control or open an existing application. In this video, we will open an application that we were working on called SG Certs. So here you can see all the files within our applications that are displayed in the Explorer. We can work on the multiple files in the tabbed interface as well. Let's say we open the certifications table. We can also open the access controls in a different tab. In this way, we can work on multiple files in this tabbed interface. We can also open a new window to work on two applications at the same time, or we can use the switch feature, which is listed in the file menu here, to switch to another application within the same window and back again. The Studio has two search tools, the Go To option allows us to search by name or type of behavior. Then we have the option of conducting a code search. So, using this option, we can find the code within our apply cations or across all applications. If we want to debug the code, we can use the launch script debugger option in the file menu to troubleshoot the applications. Please keep in mind that you must begin your project on a non-production instance and thoroughly test it before moving it to the production environment. Thank you.